Hi, good morning. Good morning. I've been talking and I just was introducing you. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so uh, again, um, I just said that's me, Mona from uh, GNC, and I'm here with you, uh, uh, with Carter Gray from Planet Fuel. And uh, we're going to be talking about your product and uh, the uh, flavors, the variety, the everything about your product. Um, so um, looking forward to have a great conversation. And if anyone out there have any questions uh, for Carter, go ahead and uh, please write it down, send me a message, and we'll be very, very happy to answer. So Carter, would you please uh, introduce yourself to Lakeland, Plant City community and the GNC community. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Carter Gray. Uh, I'm a VP here at Plant Fuel. I've uh, been here since the inception. Um, it's me and basically four or five other employees here. We, we kind of started very lean um, mm -hmm. just because we, we really want to spend our time, our energy and our, our, our finances really just on supporting the brand from a marketing standpoint, um, setting it up and, and just, um, you know, getting it getting it supported. So I, uh, I've been in the industry about 16 years now. I actually got my start with GNC. Um, I was a part-time sales associate, worked my way up to be a, a regional director, um, and then worked in the, uh, the corporate office on the merchant team before transitioning over with a few different brands. Um, so had a pretty wide, wide range of experience, and I'm, I'm hopeful that it's going to prove beneficial to this brand and how it supports GNC and especially the franchise system. That's great. So Planet Fuel is exclusive to GNC right now uh, from, you know, and we had it for about uh, three months or so, four months. How long? Yeah, has it been? I believe. Yeah. Official launch, I believe, was the beginning of September. Um, OK. Yeah. So uh, it is exclusive to GNC. You are correct. That's right. That's right. And and your your product is like a kind of a, a design with um, protein, pre-workout, uh, recovery. Tell me a little bit about how is how your, your product goes or how is the definition of your product, the category of your product? Sure thing, yes. Yeah. So it is 100% plant-based. We are a vegan product line. Um, mm -hmm. The reason for that is we really see or saw a white space in that category where, yes, you do have vegan proteins and, and pre-workouts and things of that nature, but I feel and we felt that there was typically a compromise when it comes to quality. Um, mm -hmm. On protein, sometimes that compromises with grittiness um, and a little bit of sediment at the bottom of your proteins. And that can be kind of an unpleasant experience, especially mm -hmm. if you are someone who lives the plant-based lifestyle and mm -hmm. you're looking for an alternative, you're looking for a way to supplement your diet, get more protein. That's not really something you wanna have to just, well, this is the only option, so I guess I have to, to do yeah. this. Yeah. So that's that's one one area we wanted to um, improve. Mm -hmm. The other comes with pre workouts. Um, yeah. That's that's a huge wide open area. I think yes, there are natural or plant based pre workouts, but typically mm -hmm. the ingredient profiles are a little lacking. Um, okay. And no disrespect to any other brands, I think that um, you know they'll they'll throw in botanicals that you or I or even the customer are aware of and the benefits they have. But mm -hmm. the issue comes with them being non-standardized. So if you have a non-standardized botanical, maybe you're getting the benefit of, let's say, a beetroot in terms of, um, you know, just, just helping with nitric oxide or things like that. But maybe you're not, again, because it's not standardized. So you don't really know what that, that is yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. going to yield. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what we did is we tried to find plant-based ingredients um, that are clinically studied and that have okay. that clinical backing that we have. We can guarantee that potency and that standardization to yield the benefits that people are looking for. So, okay. um, so yeah, protein pre-workout recovery. And then we also have a, an immunity and hydration. Immunity is a, a huge um, topic right now. Of course. And so um, being able to offer that, again, as an alternative, uh, and especially it being plant-based is, I think, a, a win for us as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and talk about each product individually. Sure. Uh, um, like, we're going to start with the recovery. You told me uh, what is the ingredients, how many flavors you have, when can you use it, and uh, we'll go from there. And then we'll go to the, maybe the protein, and sure. then we'll go to the pre-workout, and then the immunity. Uh, and then you just explain each product, when you can use it, uh, how many scoops we're serving, uh, what's the ingredients, what's the main ingredients in the products, and, and we'll go from there. Sure. Yeah. So I do have the products here with me, so mm -hmm. I can kind of Vanna White them a little bit for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, our all-in-one recovery. So any any of our tubs, and I'll bring in the pre-workout here too, 
they come in these little tubes and then once you open it instead of it being a scoop we have these individual sachets oh, so okay. which makes it easier to guarantee the the dosing you know you're not going to have heaping scoops or, or or powder left behind That's um, good. you know you, you have your your guaranteed dose per per sachet it also makes it super easy to share or take with you if you're traveling that's um, a very good the convenient of it is amazing actually yes yeah thank you and um one thing that, that we really want to to point out is that our packaging is all compostable um it's either compostable or recyclable depending on the product so with these they are compostable um so I, 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 you know what, that was my going to be because you bought the packaging right there, and I, that was going to be my next questions. And uh, when your product came out, I really stressed on that. That's all uh, your packaging is um, environmental friendly, and it's just like reusable, recyclable, and it's just like it's just great. It's just great, and I'm I'm glad you, you mentioned that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and I mean that's we wanted to be kind of full circle. You know, yes, we want to make products that are good for you. Um, and one of our taglines is good for the body, good for the planet. Um, mm -hmm. But we want to just be well-rounded. We want to be good for you and good for the planet. Um, the other thing is with every product sold, we plant one tree. So we, we partnered up with a, an organization known as One Tree Planted, very appropriately named. Um, that, yeah, again, just every product sold, plant one Congratulations. tree. Congratulations. Thank you. That's just Thank amazing. You. That is just wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. We need to keep doing more of this. Yes. And again, another reason why we're, we're a lean company, so we can do stuff like that, you yes. know? So we want to make sure that we are contributing in every possible way. But mm -hmm. um, onto the product itself. <laughs> yes. Um, so the recovery pro uh, product, recovery products in general, I think are just kind of unsung heroes. They're mm -hmm. typically for people that are a little bit more um, supplement savvy, because mm -hmm. I think pre-workouts are what bring people into sports nutrition or what bring people into the category just because there is that sensory effect, right? Sure. I could take it and I can feel it right away. So I know it's working. Yeah. Recovery <laughs> products. It's not, not usually that way. You're not going to take the first dose and be like, Oh my gosh, I'm recovered. It worked. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it is, it is a little bit more. It takes time. It's a slow process. Yes. In the body. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So with this one, you know, like I said, recovery products to me are really kind of the unsung heroes. So we do have, three grams of creapure creatine, which is the clinical dose of, of um, creatine to help improve athletic performance, strength, power, and recovery. Mm -hmm. um, we also do have some instaminos in here. So it is, yes, you could call this a BCAA product as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we use instaminos because those are vegan fermented. So typically if someone's trying to get a, a BCAA and they are a vegan or they're plant-based, sometimes that can be, well, I guess vegan, more than anything, that can be kind of a, a, a tough thing to do. Oh, um, yes. So we do have instaminos in here with branched chain amino acids. We have the creatine, which I spoke about. We also have beta alanine, which I think mm -hmm. a lot of people are obviously familiar with and we typically associate yeah. that with pre-workouts. Mm -hmm. But beta alanine, as many people do know or have come to find out, is that with beta alanine, you kind of have to, to load it and you kind of have to take it more consistently to get the full effect. Yeah. So the idea behind beta alanine is to reduce that lactic acid buildup in the muscle. Lactic acid obviously happens as you're working out. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're feeling maybe reps one through five, they're pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Reps six through 10, they get a little bit more difficult because that yeah. lactic acid lactic is starting acid. to build up. Yes. So beta alanine with a pre-workout helps eliminate that. Beta alanine with a post-workout helps eliminate that as well. Sure, sure. So um, beyond that, we do have uh, coconut water. So going back to hydration. Hydration. Mm -hmm. Yep. So no matter what the workout is, if you're doing something that is more aerobic rather than anaerobic, you are obviously depleting those electrolytes. So you want to make sure we're replenishing those, rehydrating. Uh, also with creatine, any kind, anytime you're taking a creatine, especially a creatine monohydrate, it does tend to pull some water into the muscles, yes. mm -hmm. which typically means you need to take more water. Take more right? water yes. <laughs> so, yes. so having those additional electrolytes will help balance out that hydration as well. That's great. That's great. So the main uh, thing for the recovery then is just like reduce soreness and reduce the recovery time and, um, you know, optimize the muscles, uh, the yeah. protein synthesis. And also you can use it before, after or during. And just like I always tell even my customer, if you're feeling like down one day and if you're like tired, instead of just grabbing a, a soda or some, you know, just sugary product, just go get a BCA and just, yeah. you know, sip on that all day. You'll feel a lot better. And I think yes. with your 
was your vegan product right there is just an amazing uh, option. Thank you. The last thing I will say about this is it does have a, a product or an ingredient known as Vita Cherry Sport. You mm -hmm. may have seen this in a, a few other products, but that helps reduce inflammation as well. So oh, obviously, great. as you're uh, exercising, as your body's under stress, you, uh, it promotes inflammation. So that's that Vita Cherry Sport will help eliminate or reduce that. That's a great add to the product, actually. That's really, really wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to move on to the uh, protein right now. And you have two okay. categories of the protein, the performance protein and the all-in-one nutrition, which is like a, a meal, a whole healthy meal uh, kind of replacement. So we'll start with the performance protein. Tell me uh, how many grams of protein, how many calories, when can you use it, and who can use it? Absolutely. So I do have that as well. <laughs> so these yes. are in the, the plant-based uh, compostable bags as well. So a little bit easier, um, takes up less space, you know, at home if you're trying to store it or anything like that. Um, the only thing that would be not compostable would be the scoop inside. That's recyclable. So just yeah. to, you know, make sure that we're, we're square yeah. on that. Yeah, um, sure. But it is 20 grams of protein, um, plant-based protein. We do have Pico2 performance mushrooms in there as well. Um, and that just basically helps with getting more oxygen to the muscles and again, helping with recovery. Um, sure. It is 190 calories, um, 13 grams of carbs, but zero grams of sugar. Good. So, and it does not contain any milk or if or the milk there is almond milk or not, no, no milk at all? No milk whatsoever. So the That's thing good. about That's both good. proteins mm -hmm. is, and again, we talked a little bit about grittiness with, with plant-based proteins. Mm -hmm. We use an ingredient known as clean cream you may have heard of it, you may have seen it in other products, but the idea behind clean cream is it gives it kind of that milky texture. Yeah, texture, yes. Yeah, so it smooths it out. But mm -hmm. also what you're, you're probably used to seeing in typical whey proteins is they use like a soy lecithin as a fat emulsifier mm -hmm. um, to really help with, again, that consistency and, and, yes. and making sure that everything stays together or mixes up. Soy lecithin also carries cholesterol with it. Mm -hmm. So... When, when using clean cream to help with that emulsification and kind of helping blend everything, mm -hmm. it also yields zero cholesterol. So that's, that's when comparing this, and, and again, it all depends on the customer's um, goals, right? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. someone is trying to be more conscious of, um, you know, heart healthy products or things like that, you want probably less cholesterol. Right. Um, it, or if, again, you're doing more of a aerobic exercise versus anaerobic, you probably want less cholesterol, less too. Cholesterol. And, and really, according to the American diet, we all could probably use less cholesterol. Oh, of course. So, yeah, so, 100% agree. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that is, that is another thing about this. That, or, or, like, again, both proteins that I really can kind of say that's, that's the difference maker. You know, mm -hmm. if you compare this to something that has the exact same ingredient profile, exact mm -hmm. same amino acid profile, this is the difference. Yeah. Um, but speaking of amino acids, typically the reason someone chooses a whey protein versus a plant protein would be the amino acid makeup. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting to build more muscle, you probably want more branch chain amino acids, acid, yeah. which whey protein has naturally mm -hmm. more of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we did add, I, I realize now that I showed you the wrong protein, but it was this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Either way, they're both right. here. That's right. Um, so we did add more branched chain amino acids. And again, it is that instant aminos, that vegan fermented um, amino acids to add to this to increase that profile. So that way we can stand it up to a typical whey protein. Mm -hmm. um, just this last week, we announced we are doing a clinical study on this product performance protein versus a whey protein isolate. Oh, okay. um, and we want to be 100% transparent with that. If this is proven to not be as beneficial as whey protein in terms of recovery. We're going to publish those results. We're going to let people know. Yes. Yes. Um, but obviously, ideally, we want to be as effective, if not more, versus a whey protein. And that way, okay. especially if you are a vegan athlete, you can say, this is why I take this product. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, the all-in-one uh, all nutrition also has 29 fruits and vegetables, uh, you know, clinically proven for immune for people who doesn't eat their fruits and vegetables. Can you speak a little bit about that? Absolutely. Yeah. So the all in one nutrition, which is this product, I, I read <laughs> yeah. it, I read it ahead of time. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it contains an ingredient known as spectra, which does contain those 29 fruits and vegetables. Um, and it does have some great benefits as far as um, antioxidant capacity, um, 
immune system building. And again, we're coming back to immunity and why that is such a, a, a hot button right now. Mm -hmm. um, so outside of just a, a, a good for you, 200 calorie, 20 gram meal replacement protein, we're also taking care of those fruits and vegetables uh -huh. um, and antioxidants that, that you might you know, want throughout the day. Okay. So whenever you mix those protein, do you do like, some people like to do it with water, some people like to do it with almond milk. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, what, what is your favorite way of mixing it? Or how do you mix it with anything else to make like a special flavor with it? Or how do you, how yeah. do you use it yourself? Yeah. So obviously personal preference, um, mm -hmm. if you're using an almond milk um, or any kind of plant-based milk, you know, obviously taking, if you're, if you're calorie counting or macro counting, make sure you take into consideration those things. You don't want to say, oh, I still got another, you know, 30 calories, but you didn't account for the milk that you added, you know, That's just true. keep that That's in true. mind. Mm -hmm. um, I just use water um, okay. with everything. But when I, when I'm working out, I'll do, so the, the recovery is the, the blood orange. Mm -hmm. I'll do one recovery blood orange in with my performance protein. Oh, okay. So, and especially if you're using vanilla performance protein, it kind of gives you that orange creamsicle flavor. Oh, okay. Um, That's a very good I idea. Just, I just mix the two together. It's less shakes to have to worry about. Mm -hmm. um, but, but also, like I said, you're just getting those, um, all of those nutritional benefits all at once. That's great. That's great. That's a good advice. Actually, I never thought of it to, to mix it them together, but I'll be, I'll be training that tomorrow for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, now the pre-workout, um, sure. what makes you different from so many out there on the shelf? I mean, I'm telling you, we have, every company has, you know, uh, pre-workout and, you know, the caffeine difference and you know mm -hmm. how that's just explain, you know, why yours. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Pre-workout, as you said, it is an extremely um, muddy category. There's just so many options and, and, and alternatives there. Again, you know, I don't want to speak too much on the packaging because I feel like I spent enough time there. But, you know, we've got the convenience, the portability. You, 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 you always, you always can uh, brag about that because <laughs> not everybody has this. And a lot of people come and try to find, a, you know, a shaker that have like the cup in the bottom or... Mm -hmm or buy like the, the little thing that has a, you know, the funnel thing and it's mm -hmm. just like how to put it in the bottle. But uh, this is huge. This is really uh, the convenience of it. And as you know, like for the GNC Vita back, um, this is a huge for us to sell it because the convenience for it, because people can have like a full cabinet, like maybe of products, you know, to, to cover their multivitamins. And we love just the Vita back because it's all in yeah. one. They can keep it in their purse, go to the gym, eating lunch or whatever it is. And the same with your product. It's just, you cannot really compete with that. Yeah. And I'm not going to say that other brands don't have sachets. They, because obviously they do for other samples, but it's two separate products, you know, this way yes. you kind of get in two and one, but again, you know, going back to what I originally said about pre-workouts in, in the natural category, you know, you might get a pre-workout and it's, you know, um, green coffee bean as your energy source. And then you've got maybe ginseng or, um, green tea or ginkgo and those that's it as far as performance benefits and again it comes back to a lack of standardization we're not really sure what that's yielding um, with this we do use all um, clinically researched ingredients and some maybe you're familiar with some maybe not so much the the leading one that, that we're really uh, proud of is the 3d pump 3d pump is uh, a new ingredient there may be two or three other brands out there that have it licensed we we kind of got in to secure the material number one but also sign an agreement to make sure that we would be one of only two or three other brands that are that are using it but what that is is it's uh, six grams of vegan fermented citrulline plus yeah. glycerol um, plus an ama fruit extract that, that's kind of the uh, um, you know kind of what what balances it all out but citrulline obviously as everybody is aware of by now i would think and especially the the, the bigger pre-workouts that use six or eight grams of citrulline that is your precursor to nitric oxide that is converting and allowing that that pump effect to happen um so we're aware of that glycerol glycerol it doesn't really get the 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 um um i guess the praise it deserves because people are so used to creatine bloating, right? Like when I say creatine, it bloats me. It makes me retain water. Well, that's actually not supposed to happen. Creatine mm -hmm. is not supposed to do that. Creatine is actually just supposed to, you know, lend a phosphate group when you deplete ATP to ADP. Yes. Creatine makes it back to ATP so you have that yes. energy. Glycerol, the point is to retain water. 
So this is actually helping with that pump effect. So as you're widening the blood vessels and increasing the, the transport yep. of nutrients to the muscles, you're also taking that, that, that bloat or that water retention as well. So my, what I uh, usually say to people is what performs better, a hydrated muscle or a dehydrated muscle? A hydrated muscle, right? Hydrated so muscle, that yeah. would be, again, the idea yeah. behind the glycerol there. Yeah. So yeah. that ingredient, again, is 3D pump. Um, and we have six grams of that. So super, awesome. super excited about that. That's awesome. Um, that's awesome. We've got pure calf as your, your um, caffeine source. So that's organic caffeine, and that's 250 milligrams. Mm -hmm. So once again, we're talking about a, a um, yes. kind of a best of both worlds. You know, you, you've got the pump, but then you also have the energy. Sometimes, yes. very often, it's, you have to compromise one with the other. And I don't know how many people have experienced organic caffeine versus inorganic caffeine or a synthetic caffeine, but mm -hmm. the two feel very different. Your body oh, okay. just naturally responds to organic substances better than it would inorganic substances or um, synthetic, synthetic substances. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, 250 milligrams of that caffeine there. Um, the other one, sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to get winded and go through every single ingredient, but I no, you know, no, got them, no, you fine. know. I, this is um, one of the products we're going to have to go in depth usually because people want to understand more about their, you know, pre-workouts. So yeah. the more information you give, it's just actually better. So Yeah. Um, everyone's probably familiar with the ingredient dynamine mm -hmm. or methylibrine. That's, that's a, um, a branded material from Compound Solutions. There's a lot of brands that are using that. It kind of helps amplify that, that caffeine effect. So that way, mm -hmm. you know, when you take caffeine today, you know, seven days straight next week, tomorrow, it'll feel the same way rather than having to take through two or three or four or five scoops. I see. Um, so that is kind of that, that amplifier, yep. if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, S seven, which is similar to spectra, um, spectra is that 29 fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. S seven is kind of a subset of that. It's only seven fruits and vegetables, but those specific seven at those doses, um, have been clinically researched to increase nitric oxide by up to 250%. So, <sighs> Oh, okay. The great thing about that is the clinical dose is only 50 milligrams. So it's a really small inclusion amount to get a really massive nice benefit. Okay. And again, plant-based. So rather than having to say, okay, well, I need to throw more arginine or, um, you know, Advantra Z or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, really to get that, that uh, effect across, we're able to still make that plant-based claim. We're able to use plant-based ingredients to get that, that nitric oxide boost, so okay. to speak. That's awesome. Um, how long before, um, like going to the gym, usually you could just use it? Like you want to give it 20 minutes, half an hour. What is the best time to use sure. uh, the pre-workout? And, and how many flavors do you have of it? Yeah, so we do have three flavors. Um, right now, only two are available. Uh, previously, it was just the fruit punch. Um, blue raspberry is now available as of today. Um, I checked ahead of time. Okay, um, awesome. <laughs> watermelon will probably be out uh, next week. Um, but uh, honestly, it's a personal preference and it, it, everyone's different. You know, I could take it probably within 10 minutes. Um, but also I, I don't eat before my workouts either. You know, so if someone That's has nice. had a full meal, yeah, someone's had a full meal maybe an hour before, maybe you take it a half hour before just in case you know allow it to to get into your system but like i said everybody's different i think you kind of have to play around with it but i typically don't take it and then walk right into the gym because I, I feel like halfway through is when it'll kick in and i'll be like oh um oh, okay. but if i do like 10 or 15 minutes that's that's typically enough time for me personally okay that's really really good to know okay now we're going to talk about the uh, very popular um segment the immunity uh, oh, and hydration yeah. yes this is i think that's the last product as far as we go and so the immunity and yeah. we're still selling a lot of immunity products in the store people are still mm -hmm. conscious about it and you know with the uh, covid and everything and uh, with this flow season the cold weather coming in so what's in your product um, that help our client to, to feel better and protect their uh, their bodies sure yeah so again plant-based um, so we're not using synthetic materials whatsoever. Um, we do use a Wellmune um, Baker's Yeast Beta-Glucan, and that is actually what is proven to strengthen your immune system and actually boost your immune system. So again, if, if you really want something to kind of fall back on rather than saying, oh, I take vitamin C, that should be enough. Well, we have the clinical research to, to state that this ingredient at this dose 
does actually boost and strengthen your immune system. So you do kind of have that again to fall back on. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing in there is our Aquaman um, sea minerals. Yeah. So rather than just throwing in some extra calcium, sodium, magnesium, and calling it a day and saying, there you got your electrolytes, we've got Aquaman um, calcified sea minerals. So again, this, this is an organic plant-based substance um, that is actually giving you 72 trace minerals to allow for, again, that, that hydration benefit. So it is, I think a lot of people will typically, they'll look at other, other products and they'll say, well, I can get, you know, 60, 60 servings um, at 10 bucks. But it's just calcium or sodium and that's it. And yes. it's like, okay, well, you're just leaving it up to that. You know, we do have, again, that immunity play, but then the, um, the sea minerals that are actually giving you all of those electrolytes to help with that hydration. Plus, yeah. they're very, very delicious. I don't know if you've had a chance to try them, but... Not this can, one yet. <laughs> okay. Not I can confidently yet. say, I mean, I do like the, excuse me, I do like the recovery. Um, that blood orange flavor, I think, is great. Um, okay. But the immunity and hydration, I mean, the flavors there are great. From what I see, like, really, you, you, you guys, when you started your company, you didn't compromise anything. It was a quality, was a top-notch product to come up with the, the best. So I'm just want to really would like to admire you guys for this. It's just like really getting in depth about talking about the products and, uh, and the ingredients. It just, you know, put me like, wow, this is amazing. And I would love to invite all my clients to stop by and just take a look at it and just helping the environment and the packaging, planting in a tree. It's just, uh, you know what? It's just really uh, great. It's just wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, we, we, we hoped that people would see it that way. You know, um, we didn't want to just take any shortcuts on, on any certain products and then have people see that and call us out on it and be like, hey, what's the deal with this? But again, it comes back to transparency. You know, we want to make sure that we are being forthright with the ingredients that we use, why we did certain things, um, you know, why we did what we did with the, the, the packaging. Um, but yeah, I mean, any, any questions anyone has, I mean, I've created this, this uh, Instagram account specifically for that. So I'm not, not going to hide behind uh, DMs or anything like that. So if anyone no. has any questions. Yeah, um, no. We appreciate that, you know, because it's just like, as you said, transparency is a, a, a huge key, you know, when you're, yeah. when you're dealing with something you put into your body, you know. Well, and I, I, we, we do have some new products coming out in Q1. We're working mm -hmm. on a greens product. So, yes, we have, you know, those fruits and vegetables within all-in-one nutrition. Um, but we want to kind of have a standalone as well. If, you know, maybe you want those fruits and vegetables, but you don't want that much protein, you know. Mm -hmm. So that way, okay, we do have a greens product. And I know greens are, are really popular right now as well, again, for the immunity aspect. So want to make sure that, that we have that offering, we have that base coverage should our customers want something like that. Okay. Um, I have a, a comment right here. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. I have to put my glasses on. And we follow uh, Canadians get their hands on uh, plant fuel products. And can you just talk a little about Amazon and initiatives for logistics and global shipping okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um anytime that you're dealing with anything internationally you have to do all of the paperwork you have to get the the right documentation in order for it to be able to be available and that goes with canada included so we are working on that currently um i believe we started that about two weeks ago and it takes time um gnc canada is a, a partner that we we really want to work with and, and we're, we're getting to that point. But again, we got to complete the, uh, uh, the documentation first. Um, Amazon, we, we are available on Amazon, but it is not the same products. So we oh, do wow. 10. Yeah, we'll, we'll do 10 serving products on Amazon currently. Um, whereas you have obviously the 20 serve products in your stores. Okay. So, um, and, and the above. price and the price point as far as the price compared to Amazon, just like because of the the serving difference, that should be the only uh, difference, right? GNC is guaranteed to have the cheapest price, um, mm -hmm. regardless. That was one thing we we definitely wanted to make sure because I knew, especially when dealing with with franchisees, that would be a a, a bone of contention. You know, they don't want to compete with Amazon, and I don't blame them. You know, uh, yeah, they should be rewarded for having their stores open. And of having course. that foot traffic. So, yeah, you, you should have the, the cheapest price. Absolutely. Yeah. 
And I, I just wanted to let you, in, in regards to that, um, I've been in business for 20 years. Uh, we've been family owned and operated for 20 years, uh, opening our stores in a small Lakeland, uh, Florida and Plant City. And we just love our customer, love their loyalty. And, and I know Amazon is out there and um, the, you know, the uh, internet is out there, but people still love to come and see us and see our team and, and interact with us one-on-one. -on -one. And I really, I, I'm gonna say, you know, keep saying thank you. Thank you to our client and just keeping our door open because, um, I didn't know we we're going to go away. I didn't think we we're going to go away. Just yeah. being here and interacting, we just need that human interaction and just people yeah. walking into our doors. We never, I know it's a convenient to go on Amazon and do an order and find it in the front of your door. But uh, that small ma and pa shops, um, you know, I think they do offer more than just a package in the front of your door. And we're going to continue supporting that. And I just, uh, I just gonna have to say I'm proud of it, and we're still surviving, and we're doing well. <laughs> we're yeah. still here. Yeah. yeah. Well, and and uh, again, I want to thank you for for inviting me, but I want to make sure that that we at Plant Fuel are are supporting you as well. We want to make sure that we can do whatever um, to support your your stores, but also you know your customers. So. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. If, if not for them, we're not here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And and I just one more question. Any new flavors coming for the new year? Any, uh, you know, I know you talked that there is a, a new pre-workout coming uh, and you're working in the greens. Any other flavors coming as far as adding to the routine or the, the hydration or... Um, we do. Or, or that's a secret you didn't want to talk no, about. No, no, no. <laughs> like I said, transparency is, is our yeah. thing. So we, we're happy to share with anyone. I mean, we are a publicly traded company as well. So... Um, there, there are no secrets, okay. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. but, uh, we, we do have a second flavor of our recovery, at least a second approved flavor. We didn't release it just yet. Um, you know, in speaking with GNC, when we, we launched the brand, um, they wanted to lead with this as the offering and then kind of see how it goes and then expand from there. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a, a berry flavored recovery, um, okay. out, all, in addition to the blood orange. Um, but you do have all of the current flavors of the proteins. And then, like I said, the watermelon pre-workout will be available yes. next week. That's all we have so far. Um, and right now, and it's, just... a, it's a complete package, actually. You know, you, yeah. you got and and you get and you get the best of the flavors. You know, you, as far as the flavor, you got the basic vanilla and chocolate. You got the fruit bunch, the the orange, uh, the blood orange one is is really great, and the raspberry lemonade. This is just like the most popular and also actually most tasty uh, flavors. And if you look at any products, and even for someone who's a beginner. Uh, I would like come into the store that that would be the product that that would be the flavor I would recommend uh, for someone who's beginning. And I'm, from what I know, this is uh, and the comments I've been reading about your uh, the reviews about your product that the protein tests amazing. I heard it just yeah. like it is one of I mean, most of the reviews I've been reading about it, uh, last night. I was just going through to see was, you know, how is the reviews and you're getting five out of the five about the protein and how the amazing the taste is, and, you know, uh, good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, Thank you. yes. I mean, when you get that kind of like, especially about protein and splint paste, it's just really, you will yeah. find one or two out of the 10, just like, eh, you know, but I seen the five out of five reviews and it's just huge. huge. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, right now, I believe the, um, Vanilla performance protein is our best seller, um, mm -hmm. which I thought chocolate might be, but I guess when um, when you're dealing with plant based, people tend to want to make their own, you know, smoothies, and a yes. vanilla is a little bit more versatile than a chocolate might be. Yes. Believe it or not, our second best seller is our recovery. Yeah. So that kind of shocked me, um, but yeah, those two are our best sellers right now. I think now that there's two flavors available of pre workout, they'll probably overtake them. Um, uh -huh. but right now I, I'd say that's, um, that's pretty promising. That's awesome. Um, um, uh, I have a lot of young people in my family, like young, like, um, college, um, high school or like, uh, nieces and nephews and, and, uh, most of them are going either plant-based, vegan. Um, uh, it's just, uh, it's, as you said, it's a, a whole, uh, new category uh, needed to be covered and coming up with a product like this, I think it's amazing. It's just, this is a new, uh, new generation thinking and just going plant based and saving the environment and planting a tree. I just like, while you're talking, I'm, I'm thinking of, 
each one of them and how Z Windy come to my house and and I was like, oh, are you using this? Why are you using that? I was like, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> and you just have to go with them. I was like, oh, okay, we're the old school now. You know, we have to look yeah. at you guys and the, the new generation and how they think and and how do you want to keep the environment and how do you protect uh, the world we live in? It's just and and you are part of it by planting a tree and by by doing this. I just really. Uh, I admire this and I again I see it with the new generation uh with the new uh young adult growing in my family and how he uh, approach that and and your company uh, is just a huge part of that so we really thank you for that oh no thank you so much we we uh, like I said couldn't do it without you know you the stores and, and your customers yeah thank you well anything else you want to add to my uh client uh or my Lakeland small community and also the big community at GNC. Uh, when we post this on Instagram, uh, we we sometimes we share it. We're gonna tag you. We're gonna tag GNC. A lot of people out there are gonna gonna see this, and uh, we're hoping for more people to follow us at GNC uh, Lakeland Plant City. Give us a like. Watch all our um, you know podcast. Uh, but what would be the most advice going toward the holidays, going toward the new year, um, to you know, um, you know what? I, I I forgot to ask you this question, but uh, to what age group and what people can do to improve their lifestyle? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, as far as the age group or the demographic, I mean, this really applies to everyone. I mean, like you said, people that are just trying to get healthier. I think um, as we get older, I think people start to to make more conscious health, healthful decisions when it comes to their diet. Mm -hmm. um, you see a lot of people, uh, I think, I hate to, to, to say that it's it's kind of the pop culture norm now, but to be a little bit more natural or plant-based or things like that. And so when people see that as, not to use this word, but a fad for lack of a better word, you see people start to gravitate more towards that. But then as they do it and as they, they uh, adopt that lifestyle, uh, they do start to become, it feel a little bit better. You know, they're, they're working out more often or just exercising daily or just being nutritious or being healthy. So as far as the older group, I think it absolutely applies. But with the products like the performance protein, like the pre-workout, like the post-workout, that applies to that 18 to 34 demographic as well. And yeah. um, it seems like where that demographic goes historically, so goes the industry. So um, having that offering there, but again, also just more of the health conscious categories like all-in-one nutrition and immunity and hydration, we kind of have all bases covered. So I can't necessarily say it's only for one demographic or another. We, we, we want to appeal to as many as possible. And, and again, as you mentioned earlier, the, the cholesterol level and it's a plant base for older people, for even American, you know, just like I will say age 45 and up, they're trying to lower their cholesterol or trying to watch their diet or just start healthy lifestyle. I think it just like instead of, I don't want to say instead of, but it will be a great option for them with the lower cholesterol and uh, amount of calories and zero sugar. You have your uh, fruits and vegetables in there. That will be a great option for someone who wants to really uh, convert their lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you have any questions for me? Um, what more can we do for you? I mean, ultimately, that is that is the. <laughs> Anytime I ever left the store, that was my last question was, what, what more can I do for you? Um, but, oh, wow. but truly, truly, what, what more can we do for you as a, well, as a brand or as, you know, just myself? I think staying, uh, keeping the, the, as you said, you're being honest about and keep, keeping the product going like the same way you're going, doing all more research on it. You're putting in the uh, uh, recommended doses, the research, and and that's all we're asking for. Keeping on with us like more often on uh, Instagram so we can connect with our customers. So whenever you have a chance to connect and, you know, a new launch for a product, hey, call me. It's like, hey, Mona, I would love to, to, to talk to your customers. We would like to inform the GNC community about what's coming out and we need to be more connected with people that's all we need to do because this is our people we cannot go anywhere without them so we need to be informative we need to be out there with them and share your success and share that we are there for them too and we're here to help everyone absolutely yeah i like i said before i am always available i will always make myself available i'll respond to, to messages as as um as often as possible so thank you so yeah. much thank you it was really a pleasure meeting you today and i usually ended up by by this uh, that i am uh, been in business for 20 years uh we are from uh, gnc we are gnc lakeland uh plain city 
Um, we own four locations, and uh, we, our locations are at Lakeside Village, um, Mulberry, Highland City, and Blend City. And I would love for people to follow us at gnclakeland.blendcity. And I hope you enjoyed uh, Carter Gray. If you have any questions, tag him, tag me, ask a question. We're here to help. And uh, we would love to see you very, very soon. And looking forward to the new product to come out and the new flavor to come out. And enjoy the holiday if I didn't see you before then. Um, you know, happy early Thanksgiving. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, same to you. And thank you again. It's been a pleasure. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You Bye -bye. too. Bye. Bye.